Hi, Mrs. Johnston. Today, we are going to apply what we have learned in our story about garbage. I have seven pictures that happened in our story. And today, we are going to sequence them and put them in the order of which the story happened. So let's go over our pictures before we try to start. So we have garbage going into a trash can. We have a garbage truck. We have lots of garbage we can see in the landfill. We have a dumpster. We have a bulldozer that is working with the garbage in the landfill. We have a birthday party taking place. And then we have dirt covering up the garbage in the landfill. So let's think back to our story. And what would be the first step that would happen in our story? Which picture would happen first? You're right. The birthday party would be the first piece that would happen. So let's move this one down. Since we always start our story when we read in the top left. And so we're going to even start our picture cards in the top left. So first, the birthday party takes place. What would happen second? Look at all the pictures. Which one would happen second? You're right. When the party is over, we would put our garbage into the garbage can. So let's move this picture and put down here till we need it. So the second picture to happen is going to be us throwing away our garbage from the birthday party into the garbage can. So here is the first step and the second step. What would happen third? Where would our garbage go when our garbage, our trash can, is filled? Yes, it's going to go into the dumpster. So let's move this picture and we'll move this one over because when we read, we read left to right and top to bottom. So we have our birthday party happened. We put all our garbage into the trash can. Then we take the trash can and we take the garbage from there and put it either into a dumpster or maybe we have a small garbage can outside our home that we would put it into. What would happen after the dumpster is filled? Yes, you're correct. The garbage truck is going to come and pick up the garbage from the dumpster. Yes. And what would happen after the garbage truck picks up the garbage from the dumpster? Where is it going to go? That's correct. It's going to go to the landfill. But which one of these pictures shows the first picture of the landfill? You're right. The one where we see all the trash. So we're going to move this over. And we're going to move this one up. And so we have um, the garbage, the dumps, the garbage tr truck taking the garbage to the landfill. Now we have two last pictures left. Which one is next after you have garbage in the landfill? You are super smart. After the landfill is all filled with garbage, then the bulldozer comes and kind of moves the garbage around and spreads it out. And the last picture to happen is that the bulldozer then moves dirt over the garbage so that we can't see or smell it. So let's go back and look one last time at our sequencing retell of our story today. We started out with a birthday party. We cleaned up, 
We put our garbage from the birthday party into our garbage can in our home. When our garbage can is full, we empty that bag and put it either into a dumpster or a smaller garbage can that is generally outside our home. The dumpster or the garbage can is picked up by the garbage truck. The garbage truck takes our garbage to the landfill. And at the landfill, then there are bulldozers that spread out the garbage. And last is when the landfill is full, the bulldozer will spread dirt over top of the garbage so that it keeps it out of sight, out of mind, that we can't see it or smell it. Mrs. Johnston hopes that you enjoyed working with our sequencing process today, and I look forward to seeing your pictures that you draw of the garbage process.